Game two from the South Region, Greenville, South Carolina. Number 15, Florida Atlantic, and the second seed, Alabama Crimson Tide. We've already seen one basket from Irwin Dudley, who is the big player for Crimson Tide, as good as their comes in the Southeast Conference, John. Well, player of the year in the SEC, this Alabama squad has been powerful, and they are strong. Rizard, Dudley, Walker, Meade, and Mo Williams for Alabama. Raheem Brown, Gardner, Dingle, Smart, Collins, all for Florida Atlantic, a school of 25,000 in Boca Raton, Florida, their first ever NCAA tournament appearance. And a turnover right there, and Brown picks it up. Well, they're tenacious on the defensive end. Sidney Green, their coach, has really put together a ball club that he wants them to understand the defensive side of things. Offensively, they can get in the flow. It's the number two seed versus the number 15 seed. It has happened in the past. It happened a year ago. Hampton knocking off Iowa State. Alabama down the stretch in the SEC had two ball games at Ole Miss and against Mississippi State in the championship game of the tournament where they scored under 60 points. Sidney Green has a feeling about his ball club. They think they can keep them low scoring and have a chance to win. Dudley Jr. from Uniontown, Alabama. With a miss, and Raheem Brown already making his presence felt. Brown, and inside to Williams. Robert Williams, a game-winning free throw against Georgia State, Atlantic Sun Conference Tournament. And pickpocketed by Gardner. He flies the other way for two, and it's quickly a 6-2 lead. For Florida Atlanta. Great start by the Owls. They will rotate three different point guards to defend the freshman Mo Williams to bother him to harass him. Mo Williams has had a brilliant freshman season. Brizard had it rejected by Brown. And out of bounds, 16 seconds on the shot clock. Owls will inbound. Missouri, the Edward Jones Dome, as we're on our way, the road to the Final Four, Game 2 of today's action. And the winner to meet Kentucky, will it be the 12th seed, the Tulsa Golden Hurricane, or the Golden Eagles of Marquette? It'll be a golden time for the winner to be sure, and there's Kentucky waiting for the winner, that game to be played on Saturday. Dick Hamburg, along with Matt Gukas, welcome to Game 2 of our third year. They have had two previous years, 2 and 28 as a record, and then last year, 7 and 24. John, this year, 19 and 11 in the Atlantic Sun Conference. And there you take a look at Mark Gottfried in his fourth year. Shot clock down to 12. Hicks defended by. In 1987, the, the ball club that went to the Sweet 16, lost to Providence, coached by Rick Patino, Billy Donovan, the star for Providence back then. Last team to win the SEC for Alabama, 1987 ball club until this year. Tip in, no, they're not going to count. Raheem Brown had his hands inside the cylinder. He is a transfer from South Florida. Florida Atlantic has come out attacking. Yeah, good call, partner. Smart is on Mo Williams, the Southeast Conference Freshman of the Year. Drives on Smart, kicks it back to Meade, open for three. A rebound by Williams. Williams has a terrific feel and presence. Williams off to Kenny Walker, and tapped up and in nicely by Irwin Dudley. He's got four. Dudley is a low down low, 6'8", 240. The big games down the stretch in the SEC play, he came up low. Robert Williams grinding inside. 
Look at all the white jerseys of Alabama around him. And Johnny still got off a couple shots. Now some people will be surprised at this Florida Atlantic team. He's going to come out and can rebound with this team. But Sidney Green, not surprised. Talking to him yesterday in the practice. He has a belief. He has a feel. He's confident about his kids. And nothing they have done surprises him. Dudley held. Robert Williams picks up the Florida Atlantic foul. Sidney Green was an All-American UNLV is trying to pass it on to his own. Notre Dame. Meade picks up a foul here for Alabama. As they tried to maneuver in a three-point game. Meade is first. And this will send Andre Gardner, who is a junior from Decatur, Alabama, into the free throw circle. He would expect uh, he would love to win this one, huh? He would. For the folks back home. Junior college transfer from Sacramento. Gets it. 11 27 to play in the first half. They bring back in Robert Williams. They take out Raheem Brown. It's a pretty good improvement from year to year to year under Sidney Green. After that first year, 2 and 28, a lot of those players did not return, and he needed players to fit his demanding, relentless attacking style. He's got confidence in his players. He sets the tone, though. He's got a great faith about himself and his coaching ability. Garner makes it a one-point game. His 15th seeded Florida Atlantic within one. Consistent player, hard worker. Takes no days off or no plays off. 14 double doubles on the season. 67 percent for the free throw line with the rebound pulled down by Garner. Alabama comes in 26 and 7, 12 and 4 in the Southeast Conference. Florida Atlantic 19 and 11. With an Atlantic Sun record of 13 and 7. Knocked away and stolen by the freshman Shelton. And back to Mo Williams. He just is off the Alabama bench. Picked up by Smart. And the guy that makes this team go, Mo Williams, freshman. Rebound by Smart. Williams has started one of two. Look at Dingle fight the other way. And Raheem Brown followed. Good hustle, good push up the floor. Dingle with a miss. But Brown with the finish. Brown now has four. He is two of six. Dudley inside with an easy look at Hook. Florida Atlantic not intimidating. Standing toe to toe with the Crimson Tide. Brown to Collins is screened by Smart. Williams picks up Smart. Brown over Kenny Walker. Good box out. Rebound by Dudley. Oh, Williams. Shoot from three. Rebound pulled down by Brown. Rebounding in the game. Tied at 11. Brown is corralled four. It's Collins with a three shot. Rebound by Mo Williams. Both teams at 42% shooting. Driving the other way is Mo Williams. How quickly this Bama team can convert the defensive end, the offensive end, and put pressure on the Al ball club. Alabama's on a 9-2 run. They equal their biggest lead right now of 7, 26-19. Tap the winner gets Kentucky. In Greenville, South Carolina, Florida Atlantic on a 12-0 run has now grabbed a three-point lead on second seed Alabama. Let's take you to Greenville and join Kevin Harlan and John Sunvold. A developing story in Greenville, South Carolina. 15th seeded Florida Atlantic on a 14 to nothing run on top of the second seed Alabama Crimson Tide. How have the Owls gotten to where they are, Joe? Nine turnovers by Alabama. They had five straight possessions. They don't even get a shot up. Florida Atlantic knocks in a couple of jump shots. Confidence is high. Sydney Green rotating fresh bodies so on defensive end. They have been active. Both teams shooting about 45%. No one is in double figures. Two and a half to play in the half. 
Bama getting caught sitting on the ball too much. Too much bounce, not enough passing. Deceptive move by the freshman Mo Williams to get the open jumper. Good things happen when the ball is in Mo's hands. Demetrius Smith has come back in the game for the Crimson Tide. Florida Atlantic, a school at Boca Raton, Florida. Crumley with a lot of confidence at the point guard position this afternoon. The Owls making their first ever NCAA tournament appearance. Stevens to Newman, the seven footer. Oh! He has come off the bench to put in nine. Spacing, ball movement, penetration, knocking in open shots. After a cold start, the Owls of Florida Atlantic now shooting 47% from the field. Smith to Williams into the Southeast Conference Player of the Year, Irwin Dudley. And fouled on the play by Newman. And he picks up his first of the game. You look at the Southeast Conference Coach of the Year. They're Alabama. Mark Godfrey in his fourth year. And if there's a number two seed that could stub their toe, Alabama down the stretch scored under 60 points a couple times. They don't shoot it well and they turn it over. This Florida Atlantic team is uh, ready for a win. Free throw shooting this afternoon. Seven of eight for Alabama. Four of four for Florida Atlantic. Follow every play from each game of the tournament. Updated scoreboards and game centers at cbs.sportsline.com or on America Online at our keyword CBS Sportsline. With John Sunbold and Spencer Tillman, Kevin Harlan. Worth remembering a year ago, 15 seed Hampton knocked off number two seed Iowa State, Florida Atlantic, with a two point lead under a minute and a half to play. Beat Dudley. Smith all in for Alabama with Pitway and Mo Williams. What a great try down the lane by Andre Garner. It's 40 36 with a half minute to play in the first half. Brown's got to give Petway some space now. Back up a little bit. Petway weaving inside. Good play. What a shot. And it all caused because Brown at 6'10, too close to Petway outside. Should have backed up. Used his reach to get into a shot line. The Petway want to take a jumper. 15 seconds now left in the first half. High screen and roll. Crumley has knocked in a couple bombs. Crumley against Petway. Raheem Brown. Caught by Mo Williams as he collides and falls. And a traveling violation on Williams. And point four left on the first half clock. Plenty of time to shoot. Got to be a quick one, obviously. Alabama's 10 turnovers, John, a huge factor in this game. Yeah, Mo Williams surprised on that one, thought he was undercut, which he was. Crumley, Stevens, no, nope, did not get it off. Great half. Nonetheless, a stunning halftime score. Sidney Green, the former All-America at UNLV his 15th seeded Owls on top of the two seed Alabama. Let's go to Spencer. A 21-8 run by Florida Atlantic to end the first half with the score 40-38 Florida Atlantic. We'll continue after this message in a word from your local station. Hi once again everyone. Welcome back to our studios in New York and a singular at the half. Greg Gumbel along with Clark Kellogg at halftime. Florida Atlantic leading Alabama by a score of 40 to 38 and I think it's fair to say that the Crimson Tide has their hands full. They certainly do. This Florida Atlantic team has been very aggressive. They've been able to beat Alabama off the dribble and they've taken advantage of a bunch of turnovers. Here you see Andre Garner having a solid first half as his freshman point guard Maurice Williams for Alabama. Sidney Green's bench outscoring uh, the uh, Alabama bench by a score of 19 to 8. Me Cats continue to hold the lead as they uh, approach halftime in Albuquerque. 21-18 Davidson in the lead. In Greenville, South Carolina, Florida Atlantic and Alabama are tied at 40. Let's take you there and join Kevin Harlan and John Sunvold. Just starting the second half, 
Alabama with their sensational freshman Mo Williams hitting a shot which ties the game at 40. Alabama has had some turnover problems today, but they are shooting 51% for the field. Well, they're getting the shots again. Offensively, they're doing fine. Florida Atlantic wants to bother them, get some steals, convert on the other end. They did that the first half. We'll see if Crimson Tide can do a better job. Walker on top, Williams again, met by Smart. Fires in the two. Tough shot. Well, four nothing run to begin the second half for Bama. Garner throws it up. That's picked off by Williams, who twirls his way and it feeds the trailing Prisong. It is three won't go. So Alabama now with the lead, 42-40, plenty of time to play in the second half of that game. 95, and Florida Atlantic making their tournament debut by winning the A's Sun, the Atlantic Sun Conference. Good steal, good read. Grizzard trying to get to it. Collins the other way by Grizzard. Pass telegraphed by Mo Williams. Read by Ernest Crumlin. 11 Alabama turnovers. Garner's on Williams, shot clock down to 14. Kenny Walker is screened. Outside, Meade, oh, a good deceptive fake. A two-point shot is in. He's got eight. Well, like Mark Gottfried said when he came out of the halftime, they are scoring. They're doing fine on the offensive end. Can they get stops defensively? Here's Robert Williams. And so far, the answer has been no. He's got four. Alabama comes in the way. John <laughs> Collins from Orlando, Florida. The A's son freshman of the year last season. And it's the first and tonight on the Emmy Award winning Late Show with David Letterman. U.S. Airmen deliver the top 10 cool things about being in the Air Force. <laughs> Plus, comedian Andy Richter and the CBS mailbag tonight on Dave here on CBS. With Spencer Tillman, John Suckle, Kevin Harlow. Alabama, the two seed on top by two. Early second half from South Carolina. Crumbly has six assists. Mo Williams wheels. Ooh, hits the deck hard. Raheem Brown was the one to belt him. And Brown picks up his third foul for the tie. Yeah, one thing about this owl ball club, no fear. They're attacking. Defensively now, Sidney Green's got to find a way to slow down this Alabama team to get some stops. Mo Williams controlling the pace on the offensive end for his ball club. Alabama comes in as a number two seed. And that, John, is the highest in Alabama history going back to 1987. The way we shared the ball. So Tubby Smith and the Kentucky Wildcats move on, and they will play Tulsa. In, Flo in uh, Greenville, South Carolina, Florida Atlantic put up a fight, fell to Alabama, 86 to 78. Florida Atlantic's Raheem Brown with the layup and the foul, and the three-point play gives the Owls a four-point lead at 34 to 30, part of a 15-0 run for Sidney Green. It took a while for Rod Grizzard to score, but he knocks down a huge three late to give Alabama a three-point lead. Mo Williams, 33 points, 10 rebounds, Coach Mark Godfrey after the game. Florida Atlantic played a terrific game, and uh, they took it to us from the start. You got to give them credit. I thought that from the uh, opening tip, they uh, they were more aggressive than we were, and and I felt like we played just a little bit tentative. And uh, that may be because it's our first time here, and uh, we wanted to be here so bad. But I think in the future, that's that's something we're going we're going to come out and let it all hang out from here on out. Well, Alabama a winner, and the next time they get a chance to let it all hang out will be against Kent State. The Golden Flashes knocked off Oklahoma State by a score of 69 to 61.